Hey guys, in this video I will be going over the most important settings that directly affect how Domain Hunter Gatherer is able to find domains. Luckily there aren't many settings that require setting up so this shouldn't take too long, but if there is a setting that you're unsure on how to use, you can refer to our more in-depth video on the settings. We will have a link for this in the description below this video. We will start by looking at the DOM Detailer settings. DOM Detailer is the service used in Domain Hunter Gatherer Pro for getting the Moz, Majestic and Social stats of the found domains. If you wish to use Moz or Majestic directly, you will want to first disable the Use option for DOM Detailer or leave it enabled to get stats from there. If you want to get the stats for found domains automatically as part of the crawling process, you should leave this option enabled. If, however, you are running a large list and want to filter the results before using a lot of DOM Detailer credits, you can disable this option and manually get, get the settings after your run using the Analyze Domains tool after your crawl has finished. The next major thing that most users will want to familiarize themselves with is the proxy settings. Most aspects of DHG are improved with good proxies, so they are strongly advised. For simplicity's sake, I will advise to enable these options to ensure the proxies you entered are being used for all possible tasks. To enter proxies that are authenticated via your IP address, you will want to enter each one on its own line and in the format of IP address followed by a colon followed by a port with no spaces, as you can see in this example here. For proxies that use a username and password for authentication, they will want to be in the format shown in this example of IP address, colon, port, colon, username, colon, and finally password, again with no extra spaces. Once you have entered your proxies, you can check that they are entered correctly by using the test primary proxies tool. When testing your proxies, you want to make sure that they get a check mark in the working and anonymous column. If you do not see a check mark in these columns, then the proxies are not usable and probably require some further steps to enable. This is usually done via the website of your proxy provider. They should provide a guide on how to get them working on their website. Well, that is it for the most important settings. Short of proxies, there isn't much that you need to be familiar with for most uses, so you could be up and running within a couple of minutes of downloading Domain Hunter Gatherer. As I said earlier, we will have a much more in-depth video on the other settings, so if you want to know the ins and outs of each setting, you can refer to that video which should be linked in the description below. Thanks for watching. As always, if you have any questions, you can send in a support ticket, email, or ask in the comments section below. Have a great day.